Hey humans, so today we're at the Artworks with uh, Carol. Um, what we're going to do, Carol, going to ask you some questions about your artwork today. But first, what I'd like you to do is introduce yourself formally, please. <laughs> Hello, I'm Carol Delaney and I um, work in the studio called Artworks, which is on the boulevard in Western Supermare. Thank you, Carol. Um, first, I like to ask everybody what their relationship is to Western and how you became to be in Western today. Okay, well, um, I moved to Western uh, five years ago Welcome. with my husband. Thank you. Um, we moved here from Cape Town. Um, before that, I was in Bangladesh. Nice. And before that, I was in London. I had a studio in Soho in London. And uh, we moved here five years ago because we wanted to live by the sea. And that was your only reason you wanted to live by the sea? Yeah, we were, and, and also finding the right house and mm -hmm. we did the whole journey along the English coast exactly. and this was the very last place we came to. I'd never been here before. Yeah. Uh, so uh, it was actually a lovely secret. Western is a wonderful place. It is. It's, uh, it it's, is. it's very interesting. Super. Uh, so now we're going to move on and going to ask you about your artwork. Uh, okay. What are you... What are your inspirations or can you give us a little bit of history about your art? Would you say you had a studio before in London? Um, well I, um, I studied in London, I studied at Camberwell College mm -hmm. and then Byam Shaw nice. and, um, and then after I graduated I moved to Soho, opened up a studio in Frith Street, uh -huh. I was there for about six years, nice. nearly seven years and uh, that was a fantastic experience and um, after that um, we uh, joined the voluntary service overseas. You did? Uh, and we went to uh, Bangladesh. Okay. And I taught uh, English through art. That's nice. In small villages. What fantastic in Bangladesh. Experience. We went there for two years. So, what, the children, you were taught in English through art, sorry. So, what did that involve? It well, involves opening up, um, we opened up 12 schools in different villages surrounding where we lived. Incredible. And um, I would go there twice a week, and I would, um, we would through my artwork, I, we would draw, paint, and um, I would speak in English all the time. And because none of them had ever spoken English before, it, the 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 deal was only speak English, okay. repeat what I say, yeah, I understand. and then the more the more we did this, uh -huh. the more they started to interact and they learnt very quickly. So the project was successful? I think it was quite successful, I do. Obviously I didn't stay too long uh -huh. but it, they're very quick learners, they're very keen and that was the, it was a wonderful experience. Good job. Good job. But um, after that then we moved to uh, South Africa mm -hmm. and um, I opened up a studio in Cape Town Wow! <laughs> and uh, worked with um, many different artists, yeah. artists of all colours in Cape Town because Cape Town had just not many years gone through the apartheid scenario and um, so to mix with Cape Coloureds and black artists was a fantastic experience. Yeah, really and good I, opportunity. Yes and I worked with a very well-known artist called um, Jill Trappler. You did? I did. <laughs> that was lucky for you. It was, it was and she was a lovely woman yeah. and she's very open-hearted, very kind mm -hmm. and uh, I learned quite a lot working with her Perfect. and that was my experience in South Africa and then we um, decided really to come back to England uh -huh. and uh, weren't sure where we were going to live but after living near the ocean we thought well we've got to have a sea view so um, we ran, we did the whole trek along the English coast from uh, Kent all the way down here and looked at hundreds of houses nothing was right and uh, just out of the blue I saw a house in a place called Western Supermare, which um, I'd never heard of before. <laughs> That's and yes, it was. You know, and so we thought, okay, well, we were, we were going to give up looking uh -huh. and go rent and do nothing for a long time, Good. and just forget about it. So, but we came. We thought, okay, we'll come and have a look at this house. And when we drove into the town, I thought, this is really interesting. That it is. There was quite a lot of work being done on the seafront at the time, so uh -huh. I could see there was quite a lot of development going on and um, I checked into the councils what they were up to what for the future mm -hmm. and I thought well this is good this is a town on the up and, and, uh, <laughs> and so yeah so I uh, when we moved here I um, opened up my studio in the house mm -hmm. just to find my feet here and um, 
I joined a lot of the art groups, mm -hmm. North Somerset Arts. Mm -hmm. Uh, I've helped coordinate with North Somerset Arts, That's really good news. which involves 350 artists in Western alone. Congratulations! And uh, so yes, so I gradually got to know everybody and started to get involved in the uh -huh. town. And uh, through that, I've um, started to do paintings of Western people. So we had a little bit of a trip around your studio. The is it a studio? What's it called? Did you have a room? Well, I have a display room? space, mm -hmm. and um, I have the workshop here. Mm -hmm. This is my work studio. So most of your work is now influenced by Western Supermare, or some of the work you do. I do what I do is I, um, I I've always painted people. I like watching people, and um, so this is the ideal spot. Where, because you get so many different people. It's a bit like being in central London in a weird way. <laughs> in the summer, being in Western, it's a tourist hotspot. It's full of humans. It They're is. Everywhere. It yeah, is. Absolutely. So, um, you know, and I thought, well, no, I really like it here. It did take a while to settle in. Okay. Get used to it. That's, that's brilliant. So uh, I want to talk about your uh, uh, aspirations. So were you always destined to be an artist? Unfortunately, yes. Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. Yes. Um, so when did you realise you had a talent? I think probably when I was about 12. Is that right? That's quite yeah. a young age to yeah. realise it. Yeah, you? that's when I really was into. Uh -huh. I was into all the usual things of drawings and paintings from history, from the past, Egyptology. Nice. All, all, anything to do with history, Romans, anything uh -huh. to do with that kind of history. And I, I just loved the way the figures and life was represented and I think that's what made me paint and draw. Good, good. Did you have any artists in your family at all? Not that I'm aware so of. Kind of Mainly one? singers, musicians. Oh, okay. Yeah. Still the creative yeah. type. I think so. I only Good found things. this out late. So. <laughs> Funny. Yeah. Um, so, your artwork, what's your favourite piece that you've done to date? Um, well, I'm wor my, my wor I do usually do shows for exhibitions mm -hmm. so usually sometimes that can take me up to about five or six years to complete okay so That's we have a, a piece time. behind me here which is called toy toy which means in african toe to toe clever and it's it's based on rhythmic dancing in africa it is beautiful Love and um, um i'm getting this is part of a series of 24 pieces. I had a show in Chelsea in London with this work. I had a show in South Africa with this work. But now I'm having a show in Cheddar with this work. Wow. Um, and um, this is really what I'm about. I'm about movement, activity, mm -hmm. life. And I love, I'm a colorist. I love color. I see that, I see that. I play with work. color. I see that. What do you think that makes your work unique from everybody else's? Well, I don't know if it's unique because I'm still trying to find my own voice okay. in my work. It's a, it's a process. Do you think that you have to be d unique to be an artist? No, I, 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 don't, I don't think you have to be new, unique. I think you need to find who you are. That's nice. Um, because that is the long journey. That They do say that an artist has a 15-year apprenticeship. And, um, and in that 15 years, hopefully, it is a, a journey and a struggle you go through. And uh, I've tried many mediums. I work with all mediums. But um, I think I'm beginning to find my voice now. I see it. <laughs> I see it. <laughs> Thank it's you. Good. Listening Thank to you, you I, I love the passion. And uh, I, I do have a lot of artists I adore, okay. which I still go back to and love. Would you like to give us a rundown of your favourite artists? Well, I still love artists like Otto Dix, Max Beckman. Okay. Um, I did like Paul Arago for a long time, uh -huh. and uh, uh, one of my old uh, visiting tutors, Peter Doig, who's now bec he's now becoming a very famous artist, okay. very well known now. Mm -hmm. I've always loved his work, and um, yes, yeah, so, so I, I kind of go backwards to go forwards. As it, most of us do. Yes, <laughs> and I, I do think that by looking back, uh -huh. it helps me look forward. Perfect. Mm. You said that very well. Um, is there any other uh, aspects of your work that you wish to talk about with the humans of Western today? Um, well, if you go to my website, what you will see are, is a section called Western Supermare. And that's me. Yeah, humans. Yes, please do. That's me observing life in Western. And eventually, they're very narrative, the works. Okay. Um, but it's about observations. And I think 
as time goes on, I'm going to find my own voice in how to describe the town, which, which I'm trying to do at the moment. Thank you, you're succeeding very well. Thank you, thank, thank you. For, thank, thank you for the colour that you're bringing to us. Thank you, thank you. Um, if you just want to uh, tell us where we can find your website. Um, my website is <laughs> www.caroldelaney.co. And you're on Facebook, we can find you. I'm on Facebook. I have a Facebook page which is informs everybody about what's going on in the studio and in the gallery. Okay. Um, but also at the same time, three times, two times a year, sorry, I, um, I have open submissions for other artists in Western and they're allowed to bring their work in mm -hmm. for free. There's no charge for anything. And we do a group show. Super. And then Super. once a year I do my own show. Sounds exciting. And I, I really, my, my role, I feel my role here now, is just really open up the arts in Western, bring it to the fore. Because it, um, it just seems a bit that the, if you can't get involved in the arts, it's, uh, it's not good for society. Art is good for the soul. And it's and very good for the town. <laughs> it super it is. It's great for the town. So before we round up, if that's everything, yeah. um, we want to know what your plans are next. What's your next thing? My next thing, I'm um, planning a show um, uh, which is called Lazarus. Uh, I've been planning this now for a year and it's going to be a large installation piece which will be ready for Easter. Oh, okay. And it'll be in the display room. I will be, it'll be open to the public and I will be advertising on all the Western websites. Super, super. We support and you. Thank you, we'll thank you. It will be done. Sorry, uh, and it'll be done in black light. <laughs> So, uh, hopefully. I know that sounds something I'm going to yeah, see. So cool. Hopefully. Well, thank you ever so much That's for uh, inviting you. us to the studio today. I believe that is all. Oh, thank you very much for interviewing me. It's been thank a real you, pleasure Kate. to meet you. My pleasure. Thank, thank you. you. Please come to the That's shows. It's all I got. Thank you. <laughs>